All right, in this video, we are going to learn how to prove that two triangles are similar. So I always recommend working your way through the idea ahead of time before you start writing down statements and reasons in your proof. So we are given that these two lines are parallel. Um, so what does that mean? If the lines are parallel, then we have uh, parallel lines cut by a transversal. So, um, for example, if you look at the sort of Z that's formed uh, right here, and I did not do a very good tracing job, but I think you'll still get the idea. If you look at this sort of Z that's happening right here, all right, the corners of the Z are alternate interior angles. So, if you look at that, um, then this angle and this angle will be congruent because if the lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. So as I'm talking, listen for your statements and reasons. All right, so that's going to show up in the proof somewhere. So the statement would be um, angle S is congruent to angle G, and the reason would be if the lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. Um, in the same way, angle R is going to be congruent to angle T. Again, looking at this sort of a Z formation, okay, helps you see that these two angles are alternate interior angles. Okay, um, so already that's enough information to prove that these two triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity theorem. Um, but we also could have used um, the uh, two angles here at Q. These two angles will also be congruent because uh, vertical angles are congruent. So there's really um, two ways you could do it. You could either do two angles by um, alternate interior angles, or you could do one of them that way and then use the vertical angles. So you have an option, but you do not need to do all three. So just pick two and stick with that. All right, let's get down to the proof. All right, let's get some statements and reasons going. Whoa. Okay, statements and reasons. Um, we always like to start off with a given, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. So we are given that uh, segment SR is parallel to segment TG. All right, and of course the reason is given. So, all right, um, my goal is to prove these triangles are similar. So I, I'm going to use angle-angle similarity. So I need to get my my angle and my angle going. So um, first I'll say angle S is congruent to angle G. Okay, so angle S is congruent to angle G. And my reason is, if lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. Now, I need another pair of angles. All right, so I could either use um, another pair of alternate interior angles, or I could use vertical angles. Uh, I think I'll actually use vertical angles, just because it's... Um, easier for me to say vertical angle theorem than it is for me to write all this again. So I'm all about efficiency. Don't call me lazy. Call me efficient. So there you go. Angle SQR is congruent to angle TQG because vertical angles are congruent. Notice I had to use the three letter um, name uh, for angle Q. Don't just say angle Q equals angle Q, because it's not the same angle. Um, so just to be clear, I went ahead and chose this pair of angles, all right, because it was just a little bit easier to write. But I could have, instead of writing this, I could have chosen to say that angle R is congruent to angle T. So right here, I could have written angle R is congruent to angle T. Uh, using the same reason as before. 
about parallel lines and alternate interior angles. All right, so that's an option. Either is equally valid, but do not do not do all three angles. All right, because we're doing angle angle similarity, we only need two. Okay, so now that we have our angle and our angle, we can go ahead and say that the uh, triangles are congruent. All right, we can make our final statement, which is this right here. So triangle SQR is similar to triangle GQT by the angle angle similarity theorem. All right, so that is one proof. Let's do one more before we end this video. Okay, so again, I like to think through how I'm going to prove the two triangles are similar before I actually do it. Um, well, we're given one pair of angles, so we're halfway to angle-angle similarity again. All we need is one more pair of angles. Notice that we do not know that these two sides are parallel. So we can't do corresponding angles or anything like that. Um, what else do we know? Well, we can use uh, the shared angle, okay? Um, the inner triangle and the outer triangle both share angle C. So that angle will also be the same for both triangles. So we can uh, say that angle C is congruent to angle C by the reflexive property. And then that's enough. Um, we'll have with the given and then the reflexive property, we'll have angle-angle similarity. So this is going to be a really short proof. Okay, so here we go. Oh man, I cannot draw a straight line to save my life. So of course we will start off with the given there. Angle A is congruent to angle B. Alright, so angle A is congruent to angle B. And of course that's a given. Other than the given angle, we only needed one more piece of information to prove these triangles are similar. And that's um, angle C is congruent to angle C for both triangles. So we'll just say angle C. Why did I put a G? Angle C is congruent to itself. And of course, that is the reflexive property. Well, now that we have angle and angle, we can go ahead and say the triangles are similarity by angle-angle similarity theorem. So we'll say uh, triangle ABE is similar to triangle BCD. Um, by the angle angle similarity theorem. And that's it, all right? Uh, Three-step proof. Very elegant. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you on the next video.